If you ever go visit the White House, you'll see a tent in front of it that's been there for over 40 years now. It's called the White House Peace Vigil. Today I went to talk to Filippos to find out what the tent is about. Say hey, what's your name? <laughs> hey, my name's Filippos. How long have you been uh, at this tent? Or how long has the tent been here? Okay, so the, as a tent, as a 24 hour um, vigil, it's been June 3rd of 1981. Um, I started helping June 23rd of 81 but originally when I was helping 10 overnights and consecutive overnights um, per month it wasn't like now where I do 30 or 31 days a month what do you want people that come here to visit to like learn from you or like what what message do you want them to get okay well there's there's three the thing I say for anybody in the United States of America if you're displeased with something going on by your government whether it's local or um, or throughout the country right you have the right to freedom of speech freedom of expression and the lawful assembly of the people and the right to petition your government for redress of grievances any punk that's got a badge on that tells you otherwise he's the lawbreaker First Amendment, right? The freedom of speech, freedom of expression, the lawful assembly of the people, and the right to petition your government for a redress of grievances, the First Amendment. But a lot of people that actually don't know the law, some of them are called uh, law enforcement. They, a lot of them. Yeah, a lot of them are called law enforcement. Yeah, um, that don't know the law. Some yeah. of them are called presidents. Some of them are called uh, congressmen, House of Rep you know, House of Representatives, senator, you know, governors of the United States of America. They don't know the the laws of the United States. Um, uh, we've got to remember that an election is a, it's a popularity contest. Oh, of course. Okay. I'm the best dancer in school. Don't you remember that from elementary school? That's the first lesson. Yeah. <laughs> the smartest kid doesn't get voted for. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I pogoed and I wormed. I'm the best dancer in school. So how long are your shifts? Like how long each day do you stay out here? Um, now I'm all the way down to about... Um, um, 70 hours a week. 70 hours a week? Yeah, but you I mean, I used to do 120, 195. Oh, okay. So I've been the same amount of hours, yeah. Since this started out as a nuclear protest, right? Like against, um, yeah. well, I guess nuclear human rights violation and nuclear proliferation is yeah, yeah. from what I understand, yeah, right? Yeah. And uh, you've expanded because of like other causes that have come and... and Not one expansion. Not one expansion? That all falls under human rights. Okay, that's because good to know. Climate, uh -huh. which human's going to live, which animal is going to live if climate change keeps on progressing in the downward motion that it has been? So you see all this causes as having like basically one root cause. Now within human rights, um, you know, humans have the right to live, so anti-nuclear. Sounds um, perfect. Um, if we think about it through the annals of history, before there was ever the United States, before there was a Roman Empire, the amount of people that have been killed that might have discovered one of the cures, and all the way till now, might have discovered one of the cures, but they were killed in an act of war and they were seven. And you didn't know that they were gonna study science or medicine and were gonna be the person that, that Cured cancer or something sure. like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, one of the, yeah, uh, yeah, one of the uncurable, so far called uncurable diseases. When did you move to uh, DC? Um, I was able to do a lot of time in DC. Like I said, I did ten straight days consecutively right. in DC. Was that the first time yeah. you'd been in DC? No, no, I've been in DC plenty of times in the '60s, for early '70s. Um, my band would come through and play. The East Coast, so I'd be in D.C., New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. So you're already coming from the West Coast to the East Coast? Yeah, plenty of times, yeah. Okay. So I, so, I mean, but the one thing I had never done is uh, come to the East Coast when it wasn't spring, summer, or very early fall. You hadn't seen so the, the very <laughs> first winter that I got here, there was, um, there was snow about 36 inches of snow. Yeah, we don't see that anymore. No, not anymore. <laughs> climate change. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, no, no such thing as no, climate every, change. Every really, winter hey, now. Hey, hey, folks, folks in Texas, 
How do you like that snow you've been getting three out of the last five years? Uh, there's no sense to it's climate change. Oh, yeah, tell, tell your representatives up on the hill that have these huge IQs. They're, they're, they like to say, no, oh, it's a hoax. It's a hoax. Yeah, but when it gets inundated there, guess where they are? Puerto Vallarta. What's what? Ah, they like to go down to the Yucatan, huh? Hmm. Well, they leave you in what? <laughs> Snow to the friggin' hip? Yeah. That's you. That's Ted Cruz, baby. It's 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 North American retelling of the story, like when they tell you that um, the Wright brothers were the first ones that flew an, something that engaged an engine, friction engaging an action, engine. Was it the uh, Italian guy? No, Alberto Santos Dumont, the the black Brazilian guy. Oh, okay. It, it's like. Henry Ford? Mercedes. It was at least 30 years before Henry Ford. Um, but George Washington Carver. I love George Washington Carver. A lot of things he painted are great. But come on, peanut butter. Peanut butter stew has been a West African staple for about 4,000 years. Dude, peanut butter is like the sauce in Asia. <laughs> yeah, in it's Asia, like, it's yeah. like the main, yeah, the killer thing, man. Yeah, they put a little red peppers, maybe a little ghost peppers into it, and you're having like, bang, on top of the rice. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, and sometimes on top of noodles. You kidding me? Yeah. So, to say that peanut butter, and you know, and they, yeah, like, I guess the form of peanut butter, it was perfected into like that. It's crap. <laughs> it's it's all for American exceptionalism, but there's a lot of great things that U.S. Um, scientists and discoverers did find and create. Yeah. But let's not give credit to Edison when he had Native Americans, African Americans, and Nikolai Tesla that worked for him, and then he knew how to take it from them, patent it, and then we're teaching the kids that. Edison, Edison is this big, huge genius when he's basically um, a theft of other people's inventions. What I'm trying to accomplish is living up to who I was as a kid. That's what I'm. T that's what I'm accomplishing. Come on, I was a member of a band called the Anarchistic Youth Brigade. I was a member of a U.S. dissident called the an called the, an the Anarchistic Youth. Brigade. You know the U.S. dissident group. What kind of music was it? Uh, like what uh, genre of music? Uh, I it say was, it was at the time we used to call it hardcore, but the music that's come out later on, it was just general punk. Oh, punk. Okay. You know? um, but a lot of punk lyrics had political views. I was gonna ask you: Do you have like a website for the um, for the tent or anything like that, or have you guys? Um... I don't deal with that. People. I mean, this is. If, if people want to have my name or just White House Peace Vigil, Google it. That's right. <laughs> YouTube it. You'll find the international interviews and in languages you can't understand. Um, a lot of them have a translation bar where you can translate it to Espanol, Portuguese, Samarinha, Guragenya, Walaita, English, uh, you know, um, Swedish, Deutsch.